Could they have gotten a creepier guy to play the priest? Like for real? Alright guys, I just got back from seeing The Purge and here's what I think. I didn't like it. Nope, not for me. It wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen, but I didn't like it. I don't think I will ever watch it again. I wouldn't really recommend it to anyone. It's kind of like one of those movies that I might stumble upon scrolling through the TV channels like halfway through the movie. And I'll be like, oh, what's this? Looks kind of interesting. I'll throw it on while I do laundry or something. Maybe I'll watch it if I'm really bored on a Saturday afternoon. If anything, it's a good popcorn flick. Lots of action, lots of suspense, but that's about all that it is. I feel like I have to be honest with you guys though. I have never seen a Purge movie. Not once. Never seen them. This is my first time. I lost my purge virginity tonight. Eh, eh, eh. I just never had any interest in the series whatsoever. I love action movies, but the concept just never really sold me. Now I will say this. If you are a sucker for action movies and you love thrillers and you love suspense and you're okay with that being the main focus and you don't really need any extra layers of complex storytelling or unpredictability, then you might love it. If all you want is a good popcorn flick, you're good. You're solid. Now every time I go to one of these screenings, I sit around afterwards and I just kind of look around and I read the room. In other words, I eavesdrop on other people's conversations. Because the best way to get an honest survey of a movie is to just look around and listen to what people are saying right after the movie ends. Because literally every person is like, did you like it? What'd you think? I liked it, I thought it was great. And it is just like 100% of the conversation in the entire theater is that. So I eavesdrop. And it seemed to have pretty mixed reviews. I overheard a lot of people who sounded kind of apathetic and similar to my point of view, but I also heard a lot of people gushing about how awesome it is. If I recall, one guy said it was off the chain. So I mean, you might like it. That guy liked it, but I didn't like it. To me, it just felt really unrealistic. I mean, from the get-go, the concept of the purge is really unrealistic. Like, I could never see that happening, ever. No way would that ever get passed. And it would never be supported by that many people. Yeah, there are some crazy people in the world. A lot of people probably would like it, but most of this country would not support it. I've lost a lot of faith in this country, but I still have enough to say that that would not happen. Because yeah, it's kind of a cool concept, but putting that aside, if I'm like, okay, it's a movie, I don't expect it to be completely realistic, especially because that it is kind of a cool concept for a movie. I could see where people could enjoy it. So all purge related things aside, the rest of the movie is still just so unrealistic in every way. The characters are god awful. Well, let me rephrase. The main protagonists of the story, I liked. They're believable, they're honest, and, and they're against the purge. So they're like sane people. But the ones who love the purge, just batshit crazy. And I don't mean like believably insane, I mean like they are so over the top. Like if you're playing a game of charades and you have to act out an insane person, that's the kind of insane that you will see in this movie. It is not realistic. It is like the stereotypical as insane as you could possibly get person. And there are like 50% of the country is these people. I understand that America has a lot of crazy people, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. And their dialogue is so so badly written that I literally cringed. For example, the politician who's running against the senator for presidency is the most over-the-top character I've ever seen. He is a belligerent, completely insane, ass-backwards asshole with the most fucked up viewpoints and the fact that anyone would even consider voting for him is just like, wait a second. I might have to retract all of that because we somehow have voted for Trump. Maybe we'd be better off with a purge. But in all honesty, politics aside, he wasn't realistic. There's a lot of over the top stuff happening in this movie and it just took me out of it. I also really hated this particular group of girls who appeared throughout the movie. They're basically just these shitty, rude bitches who appear in Joe's convenience store and Joe is like one of the main protagonists and I actually really liked him. And they just walk in and start shoplifting but they don't like shoplift. They're like walking around, knocking things off the counters and like laughing about it. And I'm just like, you're the worst shoplifters ever. What are you doing? Who the fuck does that? Just comes in and knocks stuff on the ground and laughs about it? You're making a ruckus. You're in a store that is like the size of my living room. I'm pretty sure they can see you and hear you. You're not sneaky. And then they like try to take candy bars and like conceal them in their bras. Like, what, what, what game are you playing? They can see you. 
Hello? Get your shit together. And then once the purge starts, they come in wearing slutty clothes and shiny shimmery dresses and carrying chainsaws and rifles and shit. And the scene is shot like a motherfucking Lil Wayne music video. It kind of reminded me of the nuns from Hitman, except like none of them are hot. And what I hate most about the scene is that the main leader chick had the worst dialogue I have ever seen in my entire life. I wanted to punch her in her stupid face. This entire movie just made me very hostile. I want to purge this movie. Can we purge the purge? Anyways, there were some redeeming things, so I'm not gonna totally trash this. Even though I, I kind of already have. I'm gonna try and not do that. Because the main protagonists were really good. I really liked them. They were really well written. Very likable, very honest, very realistic. I liked them. And I loved Joe. Joe was so funny. He had such a big heart. I just wanted to like, give him a hug. He was great. I just loved him. Like all he wants to do is protect his little convenience store from the purge. Like that's all he cares about. He doesn't want to kill anyone. He doesn't want to hurt anyone. He just doesn't want people to fuck with his shit. So I will give the movie some props for that. It had a lot of really likable characters and a lot of like, fuck yeah moments. Like you really do feel for these people and you really do want them to win. You want them to win so bad because they are just surrounded by fucking crazy people. I do have one complaint that really pissed me off though. Like really pissed me off. And it's not even about the movie. It's about the advertising for the movie. Every single trailer or movie poster for this movie has this group of American purgers. There's like a dude in an Uncle Sam costume, there's a Statue of Liberty costume, there's all these American symbols. And you think, oh cool, I'm gonna get to see Uncle Sam blow some bitches to hell. But nah, they're in the movie for like 10 seconds, maybe 20, that's it. And I'm just like, why is this the main focus of your advertising when it's not even in the movie? <sighs> so yeah, I didn't really like The Purge, if you can't tell. But I don't want you to not see it based on this review. Honestly, if you think you'll like it, go see it. I didn't think I was gonna like it from the get-go. This is just my opinion. You're allowed to have your own. But I personally don't really like popcorn flicks. I don't really like movies that are predictable or unrealistic. And I'm very picky about action movies because a lot of them are just that. But if you want to see people shooting each other and you want to see an action-packed thriller, then by all means, go see The Purge. You'll probably love it. And if you liked the other Purge movies, you will definitely like it. While I haven't seen the other movies, I have heard that this one is very similar to the last one, and it's much more of an action film than a horror film. But yeah, that's my review. Let me know in the comments what you think of The Purge. If you're a diehard Purge fan, feel free to yell at me. I'll take it. I'm sorry if I offended you. I didn't like this movie. I would rate it an exploding poop emoji because it was kind of a piece of shit but at least it was a thrilling piece of shit with like explosions anywho thank you for watching this video be sure to like comment share and subscribe i am steph koza and this is rated n